So I bought my wife this Peloton bike as another option for her to take spin classes. She used to get up early, try to get to the gym in time, to be first in line to get into the class of her favorite instructor. This allowed her to do all that at home since the Peloton bike is socially connected. You look at the schedule, pick which one you want to go to. You can show up at the last minute. You still can get into the live classes. And to use the bike though, you got to be connected to your internet. To connect to the internet, the bike gives you a couple of options. You can either connect directly to your cable modem or wireless router via Ethernet. So that's just this type of a cable. Or you can choose to go wireless or, or Wi-Fi. So if you have your own local Wi-Fi network, you can connect in your home like that. Our issue was our Wi-Fi router or our cable modem is far from this room where we actually work out. So you know, I'll walk towards it so that you can see. So So hardwired to this cable modem would have been difficult. In the back of the cable modem you can see there are the Ethernet ports. So I would have had to figure out how to get a wire. That's about 20 meters or 65 feet away. Also to do Wi-Fi would have been difficult too because our Wi-Fi doesn't extend much further than this room um, into the dining room, maybe into the kitchen. So to actually get it you know, all the way over here, it just didn't quite reach. So there are a few options for solving this. There are wireless extenders that you can sit somewhere in between where you're trying to get your signal and where your wireless router is that can take your signal, boost it, and then extend it. Um, there are also a wireless extenders that you can plug one in where your cable modem is and plug it into the ether one of the Ethernet ports. And then you can plug the other end into an outlet next to your, your uh, location or where your bike, bike is and plug an ethernet cord into that and extend your network. It's kind of running through your electrical um, wiring then. How we chose to do it uh, for stability was to simply install a, a new wireless router in the room where the bike is. So here's the wireless router and have an ethernet cable connected to the back of it. That ethernet cable is connected to an ethernet port down there that we installed in the wall. That is running into the basement. In the basement we have this ethernet switch. Now an ethernet switch just adds additional ethernet ports to your cable modem so that you can then run um, an ethernet cable around your house to different locations um, where you want to create an outlet. And then there's one cable or ethernet cord that goes directly to your um, cable modem. So this is right below the living room where I have this switch. So one cable coming downward into the switch and then another cable coming out of this running to the location where I'm trying to extend my network. So I have a whole new repeated wireless network now in this room via this wireless router that's hardwired to the port in the wall, goes to the switch in the basement, which is then connected via ethernet cabling to that cable modem in the living room. And since the bike is so close to this wireless router, no problem with the wireless signal. But I also wanted to give her an option to actually connect directly the Ethernet. You know, with Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is, is um, impacted by environmental things. So the wi uh, it could be impacted by a microwave or by uh, a, a cordless phone. Um, and so a more stable connection, of course, is going to be an Ethernet connection. So not only did I run one of those Ethernet cables from the switch in the basement behind this location. One of the, another cable came from that switch and ran under the crawl space under the basement into the walls here and I installed this ethernet port. So now I'm right next to the bike. So she can then just connect the bike directly to that port rather than even using Wi-Fi and you get the most stable connection. One thing to consider in doing it in this scenario if you're trying to hardwire it or or using um, ethernet cabling at all. There are various ty types of ethernet cabling, the older being CAT5. There's also CAT5E, there's also CAT6, um, CAT6A, um, and I hear CAT7 now. Um, as you go up in number, um, the way that the cabling or the wiring within that cable is designed to limit interference gets better and better. So if, if you're going to run cat or cabling, Ethernet cabling, you probably want to, I would say, start with a minimum of six um, just to ensure 
that you've limited um, the, uh, the possibility of interference as much as possible. So if anybody's watching this and you're having issues with your internet connection or the stability of the streaming to your bike, I would say ensure that the bike is close to your wireless router or install a wireless extender somewhere in the house. The way I did it was a more advanced way of running Ethernet cabling up and through the walls. But I would say look into a wireless uh, range extender and or install, as we did, um, a wireless uh, replicator or router in that location. And then finally, the last solution would be then to just run Ethernet cabling to that location from your cable modem.